Hi guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're gonna be looking at the African Nightcrawler bins. Gonna get this all off of here, and then I will bring you back. All right, most of that's out. I wanted to uh, first look at my snug here. I made a worm snug out of a uh, toilet paper holder and some pet hair. I know that's a little controversial about whether or not people think it's a good idea or not. I'm not seeing much action in here. Maybe it's because it's too dry. Um, or maybe worms don't want to live in cat hair. I don't know. Okay, so I will have to put another type of snug in there. I've got more toilet paper holes, so maybe I'll roll up some of these coffee filters and, and make a snug out of them. Because I like the idea of being able to finding the dang cocoons. I mean, that's half the battle, so maybe if I can give them some place that they want to have babies, then that would make my life easier. I do tend to give the African night crawlers more of the, the coffee filters than everybody else because they do seem to really enjoy the carbon. Didn't I just see a worm in here? Wait, wait, wait. There we are. It's a baby. So I know the African night crawlers are making babies because I find babies. It's awful dry in here again. The bottom will probably be swampy. Looking for cocoons. I see one of the adults. It's not a real big one, but you, I don't know. Can you see the purpley flashy thing? I can see it. I always get excited when I don't know why. The girl thing. Ooh, flashy thing. I don't know. So I did just kind of dump the food in here last time. I didn't really do a feeding. I just was in a hurry and pulled back some of the bedding and threw it in one corner and I didn't even film it. Just off I went. Well, I found two worms near each other. That, that could mean cocoons, right? Yeah, the deeper I go in here, the more the moisture is much higher. All right, well, if anybody sees a cocoon in the video that I'm not seeing in person, uh, I don't know, throw out the timestamp of when you saw it. I don't know, maybe I'm cocoon blind. But I am seeing quite a few of the adults all hanging out right here. That would be a good place for the cocoons to be, I would think. All right. I'm just kind of putting all the worms in the same corner when I find them. <laughs> hint, hint, guys. Guess what? My plan is, hint, hint. There's another one. I'm coming up with five or six worms <clears throat> per handful of bedding, which is pretty good. This is the second to the last bin I started. So its population is, is increasing. Even though they're not as attracted to other sources of food, I thought I would look here where I fed last. I think at the very least the the microbes would. There's a couple of them. So yeah, they are. The color on their was it ventral side is much lighter than the dorsal side, but he's certainly making a making a break for it. Hopefully you can see the purple flashy thing. Okay. I 
Is that the same one or is that two worms? Okay, it's a pretty young one. It's pretty skinny, pretty little. I'm seeing springtails. Not much of anything else in the other biological department. Had a lot of mites a while back. Didn't really do anything other than just quit putting so much water in there. Okay, trying to get to the bottom here. Because I think if there's going to be a cocoon, it's going to be down here in the bottom. Oh, okay. Having a party. Trying to catch you. I don't know, with the other worms, I, I tend to find cocoons when I find a bunch of worms hanging out together. Hmm, what is that about? I did just find a bunch of them hanging out together. Maybe if I look hard enough, I'll find them like on on one of the worms. I don't know, I see that a lot with the red wigglers. I see cocoons like stuck to them. And I think my light died. <laughs> okay. Well, I hate to leave you in the dark about all of this, but uh, I'm gonna cover this back up and give them their coffee grounds and uh, that'll be it for that. Well, thank you for hanging out with me and my worms. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. Click the subscribe button, please. And everybody have a good night.